five rules uh, to buying stock on the dip. So I usually use this acronym right here so that you can remember. So it's called UPARS, not Ubers, but UPARS. Okay, rule number one is you need to check whether the stock is in uptrend. Your stock must be in an uptrend first. So that's the rule of number one. Uh, rule number two is you got to check the pullback or the retracement. So I'm going to use the Fibonacci retracement right here. Uh, level of 38%, 50%, and 61.8%. Uh, okay, so I have to change this. So 38% and 61.8% is a golden ratio. So later on, I will share with you on the chart later on why I like this two level. Okay. And then number, uh, number three, pullback must be approximate around 20 or 50 days exponential moving average, EMA. So later on, I will share with you on the chart, which is exactly the area. So approximately, no need to be so exact on that area. Okay, number four, we're going to combine this a little bit with the reversal Japanese candlestick, which is, I like this part the most. So you can, uh, you know, uh, recognize which uh, Japanese candlestick give you the chances for it to rebound or reverse. Okay, last but not least right here, I'm going to combine with the indicator right here, which is slow stochastic. We're going to use the oversold region. So this is the five rules on buying on, on, on dips. So number one, the stock must be in an uptrend. Number two, the pullback must be at the Fibonacci retracement level, which is 38%, 50 or 61.8% approximately around 20 to 50 days moving average, reversal Japanese candlestick, and slow stochastic oversold region. So let's begin with the first number one. What does it mean by uptrend? <music> 